Good morning, viewers. Happy New Week. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the blessing of a new week. We want to thank you for the privilege to be alive and well today. And Lord, this is the day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in this day. We receive all that you have in mind, even for us, for this week, for the rest of this month, and for the rest of our lives. In the name of Jesus, you are good and cause your goodness to overflow again unto us. In Jesus' name, amen. This week, you are overcoming. You are overcoming every obstacle. You are overcoming every barrier. You are overcoming every hindrance. It's the, it's the week of overcoming, for this is time to overcome. I can read a few scriptures, Numbers 13 and verse 30. We'll read and then we'll start praying. And Caleb stilled the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. It takes a possibility mentality to overcome. Jeremiah 15 and 20. And I will make thee unto this people a fenced brazen wall, and they shall fight against you, but they will not prevail against you, for I am with you to save you and to deliver you, saith the Lord. Meaning no force will prevail against you. Rather, this week and for the rest of your days, you will prevail against the adversary in the name of Jesus. They will fight against you, but they will never prevail. John 16 and 33, the Bible says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be ye of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Because Christ overcame the world, we overcome today. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 13. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 13, I write unto you fathers, because you have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you young men, because you have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you little children, because you have known the father. Because we have known the father, we overcome the wicked one. Because the seed of dominion is in us, we overcome the wicked one. 1 John chapter 2 and verse 14, the epistle of John the first epistle of John chapter 2 verse 14. I have written unto you fathers because you have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men because you are strong and the word of God abideth in you and you have overcome the wicked one. It takes strength and that strength today is coming from the word of God for us to overcome. First John chapter 4 and verse 4, another popular scripture. You have got little children and have overcome them. We are little children in the hands of our mighty father and we have overcome them, all of them, that is the devil and his courts. Because greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. So we overcome them. So it is time to overcome. It is your week and your season of overcoming. First John chapter five, from verse four to five, finally. For whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. For whatsoever is born of God, that dream, that vision, that idea, as long as it's born of God, it overcomes. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The victory that overcometh the world is our faith. The victory for overcoming is your faith. Be full of faith this week, you will overcome. Who is he that overcometh the world, but he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God? What does it mean to overcome? It means to be victorious. It means to prevail. It means to be crowned. It means to be successful. This week you will prevail. This week you will be crowned. This week you will you'll be successful. And this week you will be victorious in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we begin to pray? Can we give thanks unto the Lord for making us partakers of His grace? Lord, we thank you for making us partakers of your grace. We are grateful because your love has placed us on the pedestal of grace. We exalt your name. The Bible says we are heirs of God and we are joint heirs with Christ. The cross made that possible. Let's give thanks to the Lord. Lord, we give you thanks because today we are heirs of God. We are equal heirs with Christ Jesus, your son. Through the victory of a cross, we exalt your name in the name of Jesus. Can we appreciate the Lord because we have access into the holiest of all through the blood. Thank you for access with boldness and confidence into your presence. We give praise and glory to your name in Jesus' name. Can we thank God because we are now members of the family of heaven. We are now members of the family of God. Lord, thank you because you've made us members of your heavenly family. You've made us members of your divine, your holy family and our names are written in your book of life lord we say thank you for that 
in the name of Jesus. Can you receive strength to overcome this week and for the rest of this year and the rest of your lives? Lord, I receive strength to overcome this week, grace to overcome this week, not only this week, but this month, this year, and for the rest of my days in the name of Jesus. Can we receive wisdom and strategy to overcome? to overcome the challenges of life this week, this month, and for the rest of our days. Lord, I receive wisdom. I receive divine strategies. I receive your nuggets, Holy Spirit, to overcome. Yes, to turn out victorious, to prevail. Lord, even this month, even this week, and for the rest of my days, in the name of Jesus. Receive boldness and confidence to overcome. It takes boldness. It takes confidence to overcome. I ask for boldness. I ask for confidence to overcome. Even this week and this month, and for the rest of my days in the name of Jesus. I receive boldness and confidence to overcome for every man and woman, for every family, every household represented on the broadcast even now or at any other time that will be praying. In the name of Jesus Christ, believe the Lord that nothing will set you back this week. In the name of Jesus or this month and the rest of your days, nothing sets me back this week. Nothing sets me back this month or this year or for the rest of my days together with all of my loved ones, together with everyone praying with us on the broadcast. No setbacks in our habitations. No setbacks in our engagements. In the name of Jesus, receive grace to advance, to advance, to advance in grace, to advance in righteousness. Even this week, I receive grace to advance, grace to advance in grace, grace to advance in righteousness, grace to advance in every good and godly pursuit of mine. In the name of Jesus, come against delays, reject and refuse delays. We reject delays we come against every root of stagnation i command the root of stagnation to wither in the name of jesus i command the power of delays broken concerning us on the broadcast even this morning even this week and the rest of our days in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you lord believe the lord against failures and disappointments we reject failures and disappointments we overcome failures we overcome disappointments by the grace of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. He says he has made us a brazen wall. He said they will fight against us but they will not prevail. Believe the Lord and silence every voice of opposition concerning your life. Any voice that is contrary to the agenda of God over your life silence them at the place of prayer. Lord I am of God and greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. On the strength of your word I silence every voice. Every voice of the of the adversary, every voice of opposition, every voice that is contrary to your divine plans and mandate over my life, I silence them in the name of Jesus. Trust the Lord that you are fulfilling your divine destiny in God. Even this week, even this month, and the rest of your years, in the name of Jesus, I, 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 I have confidence in you, and Lord, I decree and I declare on the strength of your word that I'm fulfilling my divine purpose, my divine mandate, my divine destiny, in the name of Jesus. I am who God has said I am. I will do all that I've been assigned to do and there is no stopping me. In the name of Jesus, no stopping me. Tell the Lord you overcome. You overcome every weakness. You overcome every limitation. You overcome every barrier. You overcome lack. You overcome sickness and disease. You overcome shame and disgrace. Lord, this week and from this week the seed of the overcomer begins to walk in me against illnesses, against diseases, against medical conditions, against mishaps, against accidents, against calamity, against pestilence, against barrenness, against every walk of the devil. Yea, I overcome in the name of Jesus. We overcome by the power of the Most High God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says they overcame him by the blood of a lamb and by the word of their testimony. Can we plead the blood of Jesus upon all that is ours, upon our jobs, our careers, our businesses, our marriages, our our spouses, our children, our siblings, all our loved ones. I plead the blood, the blood of victory. I plead the blood, the blood that prevails. I plead the blood upon the journeys of this week, upon our affairs, upon our engagements, upon our plans. I plead the blood of Jesus upon our projects. I plead the blood of Jesus upon our loved ones, my spouse, my children, my grandchildren. I plead the blood of Jesus upon our dreams, our aspirations, our plans, all that can 
concerns us. The blood speaks over us. The blood speaks into our future. The blood preserves us. The blood immune, immunizes us against the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, by the blood we overcome. And believe the Lord for the fire of the Holy Ghost to burn run about you by day and by night. Whether you are awake or asleep, yes, that the fire of the Holy Ghost will burn run about you. Let the fire of your presence, let the fire of your spirit burn run about us. As whether we are awake or asleep, Lord God, all through this week, all through this year, and the rest of our days, we are preserved supernaturally in the name of Jesus. And so I decree the blessing of the Most High God. I decree the peace of the Most High God. I decree the joy of the Most High God. I decree a breaking forth to the right and to the left in the name of Jesus. We overcome and we return with testimonies this week. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you for being a part of prayers today. See you next Monday. Till then, keep praying. God bless you. Bye-bye.